हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल तो प्रीवियसली वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट द कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स सेलुलोज फिल्टर्स वाटर फिल्टर्स एंड बायोप्लास्टिक्स लाइक पी एच एंड पी एल ए तो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स सो कार्बोहाइड्रेट पार्ट इज डन फ्रॉम दिस मॉड्यूल सो टूडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स So nucleic acids are nothing but a biopolymer that play a crucial role in storage and transfer of genetic information in all living organism. There are two types of nucleic acids. You already know that DNA and RNA. So what is the dif- basic difference between the DNA and RNA? DNA is double stranded, RNA is single stranded. Along with that there is one more very important difference is there. What is that? The change in base pair. Wherein RNA T that is thymine is replaced by the uracil that is U. So in DNA you are having adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine, whereas in RNA you will be having A, C, G, U. Instead of T, thymine you will be having uracil. This is the diagram which shows our DNA as a double strand and RNA as a single strand. You can see the base pairs. Next. and we know that how the things comes like central dogma from dna it undergoes through the transcription will give it we uh, mrna and then transcription uh, translation will gives you protein right so as a sub topic we have dna vaccine and rna vaccine let's start with the dna vaccine so we know what is vaccine vaccine is something you are taking the same dna of a particular pathogen or a virus or whatever the infection is caused by and you are removing the viral part of it and you are making you are introducing this particular dna inside your human body so that the human body will get you know activated the human body's immune system will get act- activated which will go and find that particular virus or pathogen and kills it so what is immune system immune system is nothing but for a country how the rna works the similar way the immune system works for our body for defense mechanism in our body we have have, we have called we have a system called immune system so this immune system will be recognizing the foreign bodies for example imagine if you got some infection for example covid-19 infection so that virus particular virus is spreading inside your body the immune system will see this particular virus as a foreign agent and it will go and kill it but sometimes the pathogen or a virus is so strong that immune system alone cannot fight so during that time you need a vaccine so vaccine what it does it will help immune system to identify the particular virus how because the virus ka or pathogen ka dna only we are inserting understanding so that's how it's going to find that particular virus or a pathogen inside our body and it will be easier for immune system to kill it understanding that's why we are having dna vaccine and rna vaccine the similar point what i just explained is repeating will be repeating in the slides so i'm going just a little bit faster so dna vaccine is a type of a vaccine that uses a piece of viral or a bacterial dna to stimulate the immune system or immune response against the pathogen you are going to simulate the immune response against the pathogen so that the killing will be specific faster so the vaccine works by introducing the pathogen's dna into the body where it is taken up by the cells and used to produce viral or a bacterial proteins so now these bacterial or viral proteins are then displayed on the surface of the cells that means on the surface of the cells so which triggers the immune response and then the production of antibodies from the immune system will be there and these antibodies will go and find those antigens of particular pathogens and they will nullify it they will kill it okay so dna vaccines are being actively researched and developed in the wide uh, for a range of applications or uh, particular diseases to cure the particular diseases including cancer rabies influenza and hiv so while the technology is still in its early stages it has a potential to revolutionize the field of vaccine development and provide a very a new treatment options for the range of diseases instead of taking the drug you put on a vaccine for a specific specifically when it's the pandemic or outbreak which is happening because of the 
a viral infection like what we had experienced in COVID-19. So DNA vaccine for rabies is one of the example goes back if you go back to the century definitely the rabies was one of the major worry so DNA vaccine for the rabies is a type of a vaccine that again uses a piece of a rabies virus DNA again stimulate the immune response against the virus so the vaccine how it works again by introducing this rabies virus into the DNA which is put into the body say where it is taken up by the cell it will be presented uh, on the surface of the cell so that the immune system will trigger and then the production of antibodies will be there and these antibodies will fight against the rabies virus that's how they will kill the rabies virus importance so obviously there are a lot of importance is there about the vaccines DNA vaccines offer several advantages which are including uh, ability to stimulate a strong and long-lasting immune responses with fewer doses even though if you give it a small dose also it can be enough okay as well as their ease of manufacturing and storage and these are the advantages make DNA vaccine particularly useful for preventing the spread of infection diseases like rabies. So in the case of rabies, DNA vaccine has several key advantages. The first thing is efficacy. Efficacy in the sense uh, how much effect it has got when it is used for a group of a people or a humans or humans or animals. So DNA vaccines have been shown to be the highly effective in preventing rabies infection both in animals and as well as humans. So in one study, the DNA vaccine was found to be effective as a traditional vaccine in protecting dogs against rabies. So if you are conducting a study, any research on animals, we call it as a preclinical studies. Whereas if you are conducting the similar studies after the successful results in the preclinical studies that is tested on animals will be called, uh, uh, if you are talking uh, after successful of uh, preclinical studies will be trying it on humans that is called as clinical trial studies that was about efficacy efficacy was very good at long lasting protection so dna vaccines can stimulate a strong and long lasting immune response which means that they can provide protection against rabies for extended period of time so the third importance is ease of administration dna vaccines are easy to administer we can either give it by injection or oral or particularly useful areas where access uh, where the access to medical facilities is limited we can use in, in remote areas also we can adopt it next cost effectiveness definitely the nurses are relatively inexpensive to produce compared to the traditional vaccines which make them more accessible in areas where resources are limited so reduce the risk of side effects definitely so since the viral part has been removed while the particles has been removed so this is generally safer and have lower risk of side effects compared to the traditional vaccines that was about dna vaccines now coming to the rna vaccines rna vaccines are a type of vaccine that genetically uh, so that use a genetic material for a uh, form of pathogen so usually there in dna vaccine we use a dna so that is also genetic material here rna will be using rna of a particular RNA genetic material of a particular pathogen or a virus so to stimulate the immune response again the same thing same thing same points so here again vaccine works by introducing the pathogen's RNA into the body where it takes up by the cells and used to produce a viral or a bacterial proteins and these proteins will be displayed on the cells which triggers the immune system and then they produce the pro, you know antibodies and these antibodies go and find these pathogens and kill them so RNA vaccines have several advantages faster production time ability to target multiple or antigens so this is a very important ability to target multiple antigens that means imagine you have you, are, you have got the infection of a particular pathogen so the next uh, or uh, more two or, or more pathogens so multiple antigens will be there so here this vaccine will recognize or can be used for the multiple antigens next rna vaccines can be manufactured quickly and making them a good option for an uh, emergency solution uh, emergency situations where the large number of people need to be vaccinated quickly so that's what happened in covid 19 so rna vaccines are also thought to be safer than the traditional vaccines as they do not contain any live virus or bacteria that could cause the disease so rna vaccines are currently being developed and tested for range of diseases including covid 19 influenza and cancer even for cancer also this action has been tested so okay 
so rna vaccines for covid 19 we know that covid 19 is nothing but uh, again which is a family of sars cov 2 virus we call and you can take up the viral i mean you can remove the viral particle of this and take a genetic material of this uh, covid 19 and put it into the body introduce into the body and where the cells can take up to this and they will present it okay and then they will, it can be produced by the viral proteins and these proteins uh, pro whatever produced viral proteins can be displayed on the surface of the cell which triggers the immune system again then the production of the antibodies and then they can go and kill understanding this process is same for dna vaccine and rna vaccine and also examples for rabies and as well as covid 19 the first rna vaccine for covid 19 was developed by the p pfizer company which is nothing but which they named it as a biontech vaccine was author, uh, authorized by emergency in december 2020 and has been administered to the millions of people worldwide another vaccine rna vaccine again that is done by uh, that is uh, called uh, moderna vaccine that is also authorized for the emergency use in the case of pandemic in december 2020 so importance of rna vaccine is for covid 19 So RNA vaccines have emerged as a promising tool for the preventing the spread of COVID-19, offering several key advantages over traditional vaccine approaches. The first thing is high efficacy. Reported efficacy rates are more than 95 percentage, so that is wonderful result in clinical trials. Rapid development, which is helpful for pandemic situation, easy and easy to modify, which will be responsible for quickly modification of the new variant. We we came to know that the first round was there. and then the next variant came second lockdown third lockdown all those things second wave third wave that was because of the new variants so new are the variants you need to depend uh, define or modify this particular vaccine you know in new way so that it will kill that variant also next safe no viral particles so it is safe potential for broader use that means it can be used for many diseases as we discussed it can be used for multiple antigens so the forensics of dna fingerprinting we will study this topic in the next class that's it if you have any doubts please get back to me and you can comment also